And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What is up? 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 How is everybody doing on this fine ass afternoon, bro? How is everybody doing, man? I figured today we would just do a coffee and chill, hang out with you guys for a bit, man. And do some stuff I ain't done in a while, like doing some reactions and hanging out with you guys, man, having a good time. Because it's been a while since I've just, you know, hung out with y'all, man. It's been a minute since I've just kicked it with you guys, hung out, had a good time, man. So, uh, yeah, we're about to get into it. Wait for y'all to get up in this mode. And in case you're all wondering, yes, I got my coffee on hand right here. You know, I figured I'd drop in here, say what's up to you guys. And, uh, yeah. We about to get right into it. I figured today we would do some, you know, reactions, hang out, have a good time. You know, all that fun stuff. Yo, Kano, what up, dude? But yo, man, I figured we would jump right into it, man. Starting out with my boy Bubba Church, man. A.K.A. Ryan Up Church, man. I figured we'd start it off right, dude. Hold on, I want to check something right quick. Man, you know, I figured we'd start it off right with some church, man. And his brand new song featuring Brodnax called Sus, man. So, we're about to get into this, man. I've never heard this. So, this is going to be a live reaction on a lot of this stuff. So, uh, yeah. Let's get right into it, man. Check out the church man's newest song, dude. Talk your shit, church. Get it, man. That is sick, bro. Right off the bat, he's just coming out hard, dude. Man's coming out swinging, man. That's good shit. Talk your shit, church. This is when the swamp meet the creek. No, them busters tried to block us, but we landed on our feet. Capiche? I'm good from the wood to the street. I say I got you, bitch. I got you, but I must protect my peace. Lord, please. I know they ask, remember, I'm at Mr. No Pretender, get, get, get your 
dude. He just literally called out the whole fucking industry right there in that one verse, dude. Oh, shit. Hold up. Rewind that back. Re-fucking wind that back. Yo. <laughs> dude just called out the whole mainstream industry as a whole, dude. Bruh. Hey, I heard a secret in the system. I heard they're getting nervous when I'm quiet and I whisper. And I ain't gotta say it cause I know they ass remember. I met Mr. No Pretender. Get, get, get your ass dismembered. Husky honky with a temper. B -b 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 wire templar. And y'all music should be daddy's gotta call me Mr. Yes sir, man. sick i'm not even gonna lie bro that was sick yo that's going in my playlist for sure dude full sale hands down that shit's going in my playlist dude for fucking sure hold up i'm gonna throw that shit in my playlist right quick before i forget dude that was sick Yo, that was... I'm not even gonna lie, bro. That's probably one of my... To date, I can honestly say that's probably one of my favorite tracks that Church has ever done, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. I love all of his music in general. Hands down. Dude's an amazing artist, but dude... <laughs> that shit goes hard, man. That was super, super sick. Now, I did hear about a band a while back, or not a while back, but like the other day that dropped a lot of stuff here. Let me see if I can find that band. Scroll through here, because I know it's in my history somewhere. I just gotta find the damn shit. Okay, now y'all know I have actually done covers of this song, but I have never seen the music video for this. So we're about to check out the music video for this, because like I said, I've done covers of this song on here before. Y'all already know this. But not once have I ever seen the music video for this. So I'm super excited to hear this shit. Yo, shout out to Freebird. Man, Papa Corning, what up, man?
Hold up. Before we get into that next verse, man, let me rewind this here real quick. Y'all see that look on that dude's face right there? Just that blank thousand yard stare. That's the kind of stare that I had when shit got really, really bad a couple years ago. And that's what I would do a lot of the times when I wasn't on here and keeping myself busy. This is what I would do right here. I would literally just sit here and stare at the wall for hours on end just like that. Like, that's how bad it got. And that right there is a perfect example of what happens when you're in that mindset. You just have this thousand yard stare that just... It's scary, dude. It really is. First off, I know that I commented a lot on the visuals of the video, but dude, this video is very well put together. Like, the way that they did it is so well done, man. So, shout out to Line So Thin on this video, dude. This shit is so sick. I love the way that they put this together, man. It's so well done. And to answer your question, Kano, the reason why I had that thousand yard stare, dude, was because... I would just be in my head constantly, dude, just thinking, like, what did I do to get here? Why am I in this position? Like, what is it that I did wrong that put me in this position? And just so many things going on, you know? Like, there was just so much going on that, you know, I just couldn't help but just sit there and just stare and just wonder, like, why me? Like, what did I do? Like, who the fuck did I hurt to get put in this position? Why do I deserve to be here, you know? Honestly, Freebird, once my boy Tibbs stepped into the picture and kind of woke me up to what was really going on, that's when I kind of started to, to really snap out of it. Like, I was still in that state before that. Like, I was just coming out of that state of mind a little bit. But I was really woken up to what's really going on when Tibbs stepped in and was like, yo, this is what's really going on. You're not at fault. This is what they did to you. This is what they're really about. And I can honestly say, man, if it was, I can genuinely say this. If it was not for Tibbs stepping in and, you know, taking control of the situation and getting me out of that situation, I would not be in the position that I'm in. Like, I would not be out of that darkness if it wasn't for him. Stepping in and like really showing me the truth of what's really, really going on. And honestly, man, I'm glad he did. Because right about a week before he stepped in, I kind of started to see myself 
slipping back into that dark spot that I didn't want to be in. And I am so glad that he did step in. I am so grateful for that. And I can honestly say, dude, he's been through just as much shit as I've been through, if not more so. I can honestly say that me and him get along on that level to the point to where we're almost like brothers. Like, we both have been through a lot of the same shit and gone through so much fucking hell that is on the same page that it's actually scary. And no, what's going on is... I'll have to explain that one to you later on, Kano. I'll have to explain that one to you outside of the outside of prying eyes. Because there are certain people that might be watching. That music video is heavy as hell, dude. Oh, looks like we got some new stuff on recommended here. We got a few of them here. Let's just go in order here. You got Dead in Another Dimension, Bleed Me Out, Broken View, Something Better. And why is then here I am? Okay. Looks like you got a few of them, dude. Bro, this one bleed me out. Seems like this one's gonna be a good one. Ooh, okay. Got a little metal going on. Hell yeah. I dig it. Let's go. Whoa, okay, right off rip. I was not expecting that. Like, I was literally expecting some fucking metal screams or growls, dude. I was not expecting this. This is good. Throw me off, damn. Okay, I'm actually impressed. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually impressed by this. This is actually really good. I was not expecting this at all. Because usually when you hear guitar chugs like that and drums like that, 
that's when, you know, you usually hear, you know, heavier music, you know. You usually hear, like, the heavier stuff. Like, um, one prime example, um, Upon a Burning Body, Pierce the Veil. You know, that's what I think of when I hear that shit. I was not expecting actual harmonic slash melodic style singing. Like, I'm impressed. Coming from a dude that does metal vocals, I was not expecting this at all. And y'all know me, man. You guys know I've been doing music for like over 10 years now. And I do mostly, you know... I do mostly metal vocals and shit. I was not expecting this. Dude, I gotta admit, it's a weird voice, but it fits so well. Like, the voice fits so well. Like, even though it's weird, it just something about it fucking fits. Was that a fucking fry scream? And then I heard him going in there. And yo, Bond Grippers, what up, man? Dude, was that a fucking fry scream that I heard jumping into that? That was like, I swear to God, I just heard like a mid slash fry scream. I swear to God. Hold up. You say that you barely know. Yep, there, that was literally a mid slash fry scream. That was good. That mid was like right at the top of mid going into a fry scream. That was, that was a nice touch. I like that. Dude, those screams, I have to admit, those scream backing vocals are so well placed within the song. I like how they did that. Like, you don't really see that much anymore. Like, it's either you get all screaming or all singing vocals. You never have anything in between. Or a combination of the two. And the way they did this was not only super unique, but very, very cool in how they did the placement. I actually enjoy that. Go! Dude, those fry screams were on point, dude. Holy shit. Hold up. I was not expecting that to come out of his voice like that. That was sick.
Dude. A terror. That's going in my... Bro, hold up. I gotta put that in my... I have to put that in my playlist, dude. That is too good not to have in my playlist, dude. That is actually really well done. Holy shit. That was good stuff. Oh, shit. Dude, hold up. Hold up, Mushroom's got this. Hold up, when did Mushroom Head drop a new song? Hold up. I ever want to, to believe that peace could grow inside of you in spite of me. I hope you're out there somewhere So many things I hate in me So many things are so hard to believe I can hear the whole world calling I can hear the whole world calling me All alone I hear the angels scream That was actually really good. I actually liked that new song. And something I did not talk about because like, I was too busy listening to the song. But dude, I like the mask and how the mask is like two hands over a bloody face. Like that is so interesting. Like whoever did the mask for that video, man, good fucking work. Like that shit was, that's awesome. I love that.
Also, if you guys have any suggestions for any songs that you guys might want me to check out or any music videos that y'all want me to check out, put that shit in the comments and let me know, dude. Because I'm always down to check out new music, for sure. I'm always down to check out new bands, new artists, hell, even new genres that I may not even know about. Like, I'm always down to check out new stuff. Hold up. There's a ring. Oh, I'm excited to check this out, man. You got two of my favorite artists, man. Jelly Roll and Eminem. Fuck yeah, bro. I'll fuck with Jelly Roll, by the way, man. Okay. I ain't coming down. No, my feet won't touch the ground, and I can't help it. I seem hopeless. I'd rather be lost than never found. Ain't no telling where I'm headed now when I accept it. Mama smoke like Willie in the back of a mobile home. On the road again, Papa lives like a rolling stone. Actually good, but where's the where's Eminem's verse in this shit? That's what I'm trying to figure out. He's going too fast as he oh, there we go. Oh, here. Mama smoke like Willie in there the back are. of a mobile home. On the road again, Papa lives like a rolling stone. I just play my seat, sit back and watch him grow. I'm a Rubik's, a beautiful mess, at times juvenile, yes, I goof and I jest, 
a flawed human, I guess. But I'm doing my best to not ruin your expectations and meet him. But first, the speed him burst. Now Big Sean, he's going too fast. Is he going to shout or curse out his mom? There was a time I had the world by the balls eating out my palm. Every album song I was spazzing the fuck out on And now I'm getting clowned and frowned on But the only one who's looking down on me that matters Now's Deshaun Am I lucky to be around this long? Begs the question though Especially after the methadone It's yesterday fades And the Dresden home is burnt to the ground And all that's left of my house is lawn The crowds are gone And it's time to wash out the blonde Sales decline the curtain's drawn, they're closing the set I'm still poking my head from out behind And everyone who has doubt, remind Now take your best rhyme, I'll do it Now do it a thousand times Now let them tell you the world no longer cares Or gives a fuck about your rhymes And as I grow out of sight, out of mind I might go out of mind Cause how do I ever let this mic go without a fight When I made a fucking tight rope out of twine do fall from these heights, though I'll be fine. I won't pout or cry or spiral down or whine, but I'll decide if it's my final pal this time around. I'ma smoke like Willie in the back of a mobile home. On the road again, Papa lives like a rolling stone. I just plant my seeds, sit back and watch them grow. Take all my problems, I roll them up and smoke. Dude, I like that remix, dude. That's good. I actually, I actually like that. That's actually really good. Hey, y'all, Mr. Krabs. Um, over the last several years, I haven't been able to, but now that I'm out of the troll community and I'm away from everything, um, I will be starting to do that later on this year when it's actually nice out. Like, when it's warmer out, I will be going out and doing photography, doing more videos, um, you know, stuff of that nature. I will be doing that a little bit more as the year goes on. But I was not able to due to not only living in fear over the last several years, but also because of people had been following me and my family around a lot. Um... You know, like, they would actually put my family in immediate danger several times. So I've not, like, really been able to, you know, I've not been able to, like, actually go out and, like, do anything um, up until recently. So later on this year, for sure, like, now that I'm out of that, I will be doing that a lot more and going back to my roots and doing stuff that I used to do, for sure. And Kano, yes, I do, actually. And uh, matter of fact, I actually was going to be setting up to do an art stream for a brand new merch shop based around a lot of the graffiti-style artwork that I grew up doing as a kid. Because I have a bunch of characters that I came up with that I plan on turning into actual merch designs for you guys. So... I do do a lot of painting. Um, I do have a bunch of canvases that eventually, once I can figure out how to get it set up, I do want to try to get those sold. Uh, they're definitely more on, a couple of them are definitely more on the darker side of things, to say the least. <laughs> they're definitely strange, very, very weird, and definitely super just weird, but really cool though. Oh, dude, 100%, Kano. I got you, bro. What I'll do, man, is I'll look and see how much it is to actually ship out a canvas. Like, to wherever you're at. All you gotta do is send me your address. And I'll look and see how much it'll cost to actually ship a custom canvas 
to you and then I'll sit down and I'll work on something for you for sure. Because I got the stuff, I just got to get back into doing it. So, yeah. And it's funny, like, a lot of people think that I'm just about, you know, music and gaming and stuff like that. But, dude, one thing about me that not a lot of people get is that I grew up doing artwork my entire life. Like, that's where my whole journey began. Like, that's where I started out at. I've been drawing literally, I've been drawing and doing artwork literally as long as I could hold a crayon at the age of four, dude. Like, since I was a kid, man, I would draw on everything. Paper, walls, anything you could think of. And, like, now that I'm actually older, like, that kind of transferred over. Oh, for sure, dude. I got you. And, yo, Kano, just wondering, is there anything in particular that you want, or do you just want, like, something random and different and unique? Matter of fact, let me show y'all how into doing underground style artwork I am. Whenever I'm doing artwork and shit, like whenever I'm doing, like whenever I'm doing like a lot of graffiti artwork, I'll usually throw this on right here. And I think you'll actually dig this a lot because it actually meant. Because this actually mentioned, this song actually mentions a lot of graffiti artists that I actually enjoy. Not only as, you know, a YouTuber that actually got into that style several years ago, but also a lot of these graffiti artists that are mentioned in this song, you can actually find a lot of their artwork on trains, uh, around town, different areas. And some of them I've actually seen, like some of their artwork I've seen on trains around town around here and just different places and it's super cool to see that we did that road on trains we needed to get in and out and on some real stealth shit be quiet and not get caught so really man that same like ethic and that same preparation went into the street bombing and shit so, you know we didn't want to get caught you know you don't want to get stopped and get 10 cans confiscated from you and, and end up with an arrest and spend the next 24 hours in central book and next to some crackhead or some homeless guy Let's get in, catch wreck, and get out, and get home and sleep in our own beds at the end of the night. But I've literally had to hide inside of a bush that the police spotlight was on. And they were convinced there was no one inside the bush, so they just decided to camp out okay. where they were shooting the shit about what happened and wondering where we might have went. You know, Ooh, it's one of those situations I'll see what I can do. If you don't control your breathing, you're gonna, you, you know they're going to hear you breathing. There are very few pastimes in New York City quite like New York City graffiti. Yo, Pat, you see that cat playing you close, son? Where? Right there, son. Oh, man, what? Son, you know we don't allow that. Yeah, we're gonna take him out tonight, son. No doubt. Pitch black, reach in the bag, click clack, then I start spraying paint the wall bed before the cap hits the floor. I'm running from the law. There's an alley close by, I can tell by the stench. Shortcut to the park, I'm hiding under the bench. First my kicks was muddy, now all my gear too. Shh, somebody might hear you. Can't make the sound, cause they just might find me. Can't move an inch, this dog shit right behind me. Damn, this shit is grimy. It's like I'm an AR and all these walls of rappers screaming outside me. Hold up. Gotta let these pigs pass. Yeah. 
He's got to be here somewhere. We got to catch his ass. Yeah, so what? It's just a bunch of paperwork. You know what? You're right, and I'm tired. Let's go get some dough. Cops got tired of waiting. No match for my patience. I think I'll be safe and heading to the train station. And you know I ain't paying, but no need for creeping. This time of night, the lady in the booth is always sleeping. Nine times out of ten, the platform is empty. Poles freshly painted, and it really looks tempting. But tonight, I got a feeling like somebody's out to get me. I reach for my marker, but my instincts won't let me. White guy by himself, don't care when the train's coming, just don't add up. Allow me to explain something, this guy's an undercover, this guy's to bring you under, no lies. I seen them hover, just trying to warn you, brother. Here comes the train, dip into the last car. Put my name everywhere, even where the maps are. And nothing leaves a mark like grip and shoe polish. By the time we hit the next stop, the whole car's demolished. Time to exit, proceed with a purpose My canvas is surface, most people deem it's worthless Pop the crown on top, no need to steal, I purchase You find that funny? I spend the rap money Anyway, copper squat, got a nice spot, the rooftop Won't stop till the sun's up and my name's seen for two blocks You know what they say, fame is the name of the game So clear the way when you hear the click clack and the spray Take a walk with me, we going all city Black hat, gloves, flat blacks, all you need Silver touch tone, my name is famous, my face unknown. Take a walk with me, we go with all the Black hat, gloves, flat blacks, all you need. Crylon, trust though, a pilot, a silver touch tone, my name is famous, Yo. my face. Shouts to Chino B Y I, Fatal N F O, Smith the same cost and Revs and Astro, Reese R F C, Sack A C V, Shama R Five B. The squad was T B T, five and makes literally five million heads. Shouts to Ewok, my first crew S N F, T Kid, Cope F C, Sonic and Web, J A T K A C and Seb, Sia. Days, catch five and chess, ear, sever ATC and Tez. Females held it down, Lady Pink, Miss Max. Take a walk with me, we bout to catch some tags. By the way, if you want the link to this, man, I will send it to you, man, for sure. I got you, man. Hold up, matter of fact, let me send it over to you real quick since I'm on. That Facebook already. I will shoot that over to you really quickly. Give me just a sec. See if I can find your ass. Do, 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 do. Where do I go? Ah, right, there you go. Hey, okay, now let me know if you got it, bro. Now, I did hear word, awesome, man. Now, I did catch word that my boy Six has a new song out. Let me check and see if that's true. Oh, shit, he does. Okay. Don't know how I missed this, but, uh, okay, he's got a few out. Hold up. Let's check both of these things out right quick, man. God damn. Ooh, the God 2.2, man. You know we gotta check this one out first, man. Hold up. If y'all don't got Arcade, y'all better get Arcade. Arcade has the best samples in the game. It's about to be 2024. Why don't you guys got Arcade? Welcome. You've been invited to something spectacular. Even exuberating. God's last heavy. Entering a dimension with an exit that leaves you catacombed. Mind striated, the mental flushed of all obscurities. Do you realize the specimen that's in front of you? The peanut butter complexion, the chisel oh, skin. Shit. Get it, You're six. obviously not ready. This is the moment you all have been waiting for. This is the moment you all have been waiting for. This is the moment you all have been waiting for. 
Lord, Lord, look who's back. Just a bit different, you can see that the drip different. Gun so big, it's hard just to lift the shit. Knock your whole top off with a pistol whip. Bitch, I move through you, you ain't been through shit. Niggas wanna battle, I'ma let you choose who spit. Lose the tools that the dudes do spit. The juice is proof from something you ain't used to, bitch. Uh, I still be praying for niggas and shaking these niggas. A real man, a nigga to filet these niggas. See, I don't play with you niggas. The same women that be saying they will leave with you niggas. Be kissing on me, telling me about how they play you niggas. And I control her. There ain't nothing much to say to you niggas. Big body in the mask, I ain't baiting you niggas. I take a aim at you niggas. I keep a ratchet for the DLC. I ain't a game to you niggas. I got an issue, yeah. I'ma make your soul dismiss you when something that I throw over my shoulder. That hit you, that I keep it top spinning like Yoshi Mitsu Acting like you tough, everybody know you tissue Till you lay you with a shoulder twitch You gon' come up too short like blow the whistle Black bag in the corner Yo, hold up, was that a fucking Tekken reference right there that I just heard? I know this dude did not just mention Yoshi Mitsu, man Hold up Either that was a Soul Calibur reference or that was a Tekken reference Hold up your soul dismiss you when something that I throw over my shoulder hit you That I keep it top spinning like Yoshi Mitsu Acting like you tough, everybody know you tissue Till you lay you with a shoulder twitch You gon' come up too short like blow the whistle Black bag in the corners if you want Pistol drawn and a Mac in the dark piece Shit go south then I get the chopper screw with your heartbeat Shit changed when I got my heart piece Wild how my first love was a bird bitch like a harpy Heart black and a bit of coffee I'm cracked so the fiends saw me I'm back nigga when I track and the fiends costly If it's like that's beyond me I'm that nigga Hover off the ground when I meditate fly Even in my sleep I'ma levitate I stay ready for the moves never hesitate See arms wave like I'm doing a renegade Arm by the waist like pop smoke dancing From a different cloth, this is not your fashion Waving a stick like magic in a casket Putting roses on you, but it ain't romancing oh, I'm decorating your casket When I up it and blast it I be sitting there laughing These niggas who jacking Shit be dropping me crazy I belong in a jacket I be getting aggressive Know that it's never passive Let me withhold from the snapping Like a poetry club with no clapping This is death to that so-so rapping And all of y'all that don't know passion You can stretch cause the full fantastic Smoke cream ain't you than ashy ashes Yeah, death gonna be so so bad Tools popping out the coat like go-go gadget This like work like cotton I don't never touch a bill if it ain't a Benjamin Give it in, it's spooky when I creep up Five waving in your face like John Cena Anybody get X like Machino Tell a nigga explode like Akito Got a crib that don't even fuck Baki up I smear the niggas, how do you ain't lock me up? Uh, niggas throw shot like Akito Hold up, that dude literally just did a Baki the Grappler reference That was sick That was dope, dude Dude, don't get me wrong I love Six's music, man I've been listening to the dude for a long ass time, but bro, I like that Baki the Grappler reference, dude. That was sick. Kiddo. Got a crib that'll even fuck Baki up. I smear the niggas. How do you ain't lock me up? Uh, niggas throw shots, give a fuck with a bitch thing. All that miss this ultra instinct. Body you, and then I get bite in the party. Ooh, and you, you can see the pain in the stars in me. But things were getting dark for me. The eggs just made it hard of me. The blood went in the art for me. Your death is just a bar to me. Artillery hit your arteries. You couldn't shake the heart in me. My chest produced the hardest beats. I've been the starter. You ain't got the arm to reach. Maddox stutter. You gon' find it hardest beat. Then it's hard to see. All that bark getting carved to pieces. Been nice. Most of y'all hardly decent. Nobody wanna die and go to hell. I don't think you should get a guard of reason to put you in a box you looking like a op i'll leave your nose bridge crooked like the cops brooklyn cooked this rock and every bar break i ain't talking converse with the beretta you ain't talking money then i think i might need rosetta just to understand your language because my capital better you don't get it because the only danger you see is a bella yo no see your nose like you trying to make out pop in your face like you suffering a breakout all up on the stage at your show with a k out crowd start screaming like somebody bring a drink out metal round in your face like hypno it's no injury when something off the hip thrown the pump shit is how you live bro your niggas ain't got style love acting like you hip though uh been through hellfire and brimstone stain ten toes on the ground like a flintstone Niggas study my style like I put it up on cliff notes The broad you never tap and go brain dead from the big strokes Pull up with the beam on the Glock if you seen in the spot I'ma lean it'll pop, make you lean with it, rock with it Lean with it, rock with it, pick the city bread when I'm bleeding You're blocking the buying your way out, finding your way out Face off it away and then I'm knocking with you way out yeah. Niggas wanna shake now, cause they circle full of squares And they see that I'm in the best shape now Nigga that's a shakedown, fire something in your gut That your body can't break down, came up from the breakdown Everything I wanna take now, I suggest you take a break now Hanging with the playground, you'll see more metal than a playground They wishing I would take an L every day now I don't care how this may sound now that I find my way round, I'm eating off the tray pound. Get laid down, you stay down. Had my head in the clouds, then shit got dark, and you all gon' see the rain now. Grip gets a blasting, red light in our body like the silhouette challenge. Your strings get pulled like a marionette. I'm a savage, like that. This ain't gon' work out for you. You would get bicep, I ain't allowing you. You gon' curl from the way to what this power do. Been the one getting checks like powder blues. The guard been smooth as the sound of blues. Your bra run around or two, told her I'll be around or two. After the bus, I'ma slide. If I see you outside and you say something, slide, get around or two. I'm who you bowing to, ain't do it before. Oh, well, now you do. Here's a power move. You'll get lean like a tower do. Think shit sweet, tell him in a sour mood. Fuck y'all niggas. And I put it on guard, nigga. Ain't nothing in fraud, nigga. You done seen how I saw niggas in half. You can see in the walk, nigga. I'm a guard, nigga. Damn. 
Dude, that was sick, man. That was sick. Hell yeah. Now, let me show y'all one of the videos that actually got me into this dude real quick, man. This video y'all about to see, this is the song, this is the video that actually got me into this dude's work in the first place, man. Like, this dude is a straight fucking beast with this shit. And there's actually two different ones of this. You got uh, Naru Flow one and then the second one. But the first one is the one that got me hooked, which is this one right here. Full Cell University is where you can get hands-on experience with emerging technologies. Whether and I can actually do this one too. I'm gonna let y'all hear this one for yourselves. Oh yes. This is godly. So godly. Uh. Shout out to Matt. He cooked up something real. Yes. Shizzy be that. Who am I? Kimmy model, bitch of the sound five with bones hard as stones, face eyes, suicide. I'll slay a clan, you'll suffer from sides, gang sorrow. Then I'll be gone in a yellow flash like Monado. I go harder than Jugo's fist, spitting grand fireballs, but you know this. You know six, the tail is tail beast, boy, I'm not you. Bringing flames hotter than an I'm at Tarasu. Raw, I go gates and you say goodnight, nigga. Coming for my angles, then the crystal ice mirrors. I figured niggas would try to knock me back, cause someone, they'll never. Never see like what's underneath Kakashi's mask with proper acts. I'm making sure you hate six, but still watch me move like Tsunade's tits. Cause I do it big as Choji of the eyebrows on Rock Lee. Acting like Makage Bushins, but you still are not me. I'm obscene, genocidal, starting drama first. Taking moms from niggas like Gara's birth. Better recognize I'm fucking sick. Doubt this, that's horseshit. I'm sharper than the blades of a hit and miss swordsman. Villages flee when I dispatch this wrath. Why you think they call me the sage of the six packs with six packs of pain? Leaving almighty shook Launching niggas away with an almighty push This a tail beast bomb released Through a hot flow A red-headed beast of a shinobi like Nagato More sting than a killer bee More raps than killer bee A fucking jinchuriki You really think that you killing me and I'm boo See my job to slay you and get paid In a way where you wouldn't come back with Edo Tensei Madara How these little niggas I father them Killing any village and tell the motherfuckers that it is not wise to bother them I'm a fucking villain A rogue shinobi who does not play To stand even a chance Get the pass Five Hokages, the Misu Kage, the Rai Kage, the Kaze Kage, every member of a Katsuki to stop me. The story, Chidori, battle me, it's gonna be gory. I'm known to pull strings like Kakuro and Sasori. Ask Eno, she know I ain't a hero. A fresh face to rap, yours got old. Chiyo, with a Rasen Shuriken, you'll either die or be gone or get your eye taken like shit. We Uchiha, pest, how use the sand coffin as a fly swat. A kind of ironic, cause I'm way flyer than Daidara. Eyes of Itachi, more heart than Kakuro. Kazoo and quicker hands than guy. You really want me to box what you find? I'll transform and make sure you see monster throwing more palms than Neji Yuga's and he not as you nigga snakes in the grass. Orochimaru, that I can body from the shadows like Shikamaru. Get bent. I got more forms than Ben 10 and more weapons ready than motherfucking 1010. Be on a deuce deuce. Squad's ready to shoot you. You couldn't escape with a substitute jutsu. Stay in check. You're not L and I'm not you. A finger flick for me will break through. A Susanu turn safe. Stage mode to ashes, turn heat on to nothing, bitch. I'm the biggest creature that isn't down for summoning. Bitch boy, cease claiming that you're nicer. Your end will be way more dramatic than your riots. I'll stuff you in a dryer. All your moves bore me. I yawn and wake up to your girl blowing this morning. Cock am I to be king. You're a mean as a lame. Getting in that ass like a thousand years of pain. We ain't getting kin kaku. We're far from the same. Cause my chakra's insane. Like Karama out his cage. Switch, change them off the chain. Shut up, possess. Cause I want that brain flames. Burning up a village you can't play it out, try to take my route, but to say your name, now stay in pout. Bringing on your leader, but I take him out like Obito in his younger years when the big boulder laid him out. Ouch, ouch. Shurikens in my pouch Wanna go bar for bar I'll start for star But things are gonna go stop I'm fast motherfucker You think you'll keep up You fucking with a dog Keep up Get sealed away I'm here to stay You're fucking with a damn Reaper Me sweat you You're nothing but a Zetsu Once I say cool tone You'll know I'm gonna get you No time for you scumbags Like Kabuto Cause I'm the star of this show Naruto I'm a fool for this one nigga I know But you can't do it better pussy
Dr. Bio. Y'all can't tell me that ain't sick as fuck. But that song right there, that's what got me into this dude, man. That song right there is what got me hooked onto this dude's work. And I've been listening to his shit ever since. And actually, I draw a lot of my rap style from what he does. Like, whenever I do a rap song... If you guys notice, a lot of my style is very similar combined between him and guys like Mike Shinoda who are like the reason why I got into doing music. Like obviously, you know, Chester's like the main, main reason. But when it comes to rap and hip hop, you know, guys like Six, uh, people like Mike Shinoda, Dax, Eminem, uh, fucking Six. Like, those are the guys that got me into doing the rap style that I do. Right, dude? I, dude, I caught that verse in that first song, man. That was sick. Matter of fact, let me show you guys something I was thinking about doing, which I think you guys actually might enjoy this. Like, I was, like, music-wise, I was thinking about going in this kind As of direction. As a father who works full-time, I want to be an example to show... Rally's 199 time. It's our time. Show right. time. Get out and go time. Three choices. 199 each. New sweet onion burger. New Wild West. Or the classic bacon cheddar crisp. It's go time. Rally's 199. Like music wise, I was thinking about doing this for like rap and shit. I was thinking about doing this. Let me know what you guys think. Started with a number one, hey, how the power get this long, hey, cause I eat the gum gum, see the run run when I hit that gun, hey, sailing and taking the risk from my cruise on the movies, we pillage the grand line, looting the treasury can't find, I'm blowing up like a landmine, going gear second, I reckon that I'm a weapon, I'm wrecking up those who threaten and messing with my own brethren, stay repping, look where I'm heading, no question, the young are sweating, I'm betting in words, I'm yelling, the king and there's no forgetting, uh. I'll jump the competition, really there's no contest, channels future then and most of y'all ain't even bomb yet, it's not Says, pro exams completed as a child He's the car, I think these clowns are living in denial So don't make me power up, I'll call the thunder at my right hand If you want the strongest shonen, then you call oh, the hell right yeah. man He might stare, treat you all like Pichu, it won't take long Name is gone, and this time I'ma make sure that you stay gone Oh, better believe it's Naruto, who's the best hero, all of you know My legacy is happening, I got a type of running named after me When you're slow, can't keep up with my chakra flow Except Tanada, I'm her hoe, Kage All I did was color and I told her to come over Cause my parents are not home out of these ninjas, you can watch my dub Even though I feel it was so far above When it comes to Boruto, why y'all giving up? Like I did with sipping on Sakura Kill if he's rapping, but I get the encore With the proper that I bring, I don't really want choice Cause I came from a swing, everybody show more Now you're looking at the king of this jump force I'm a master doobie, practice doobie, that's a doozy Before I continue on this, man Cause I know he's coming up, dude I do want to give a massive shout out to um, What's his name? Fucking uh, C-Dog A.K.A. Connor who I actually found through two of my favorite YouTubers, Aki and Joey, aka Aki Dearest and the Anime Man. Who actually led, and it was through Connor's videos that I actually ended up coming into contact with Iron Mouse's contact. Or contact, who's actually, by the way, one of my all time favorite VTubers. And if you guys have not checked out Iron Mouse, bro. Trust me when I say you guys are going to love her content, man. She's funny as fuck. But yeah, shout out to Sea Dog, who's actually on this track. Baby, I'm a Yugi. Puzzled in summer like a Hadron Tunnel, because never got at him through me. Camp for the match, see fans form, no matter what hands drawn. I'm kicking up dust metal tanks in land form. When we did it, all the sandstorms. Cards are flipping, I need an answer quick, and I might find my dark magician. If I wish you believe hard enough in the heart that's in them. I see set to see, I pull the fifth part of XOD. I guess it all came to a head so clear. Think your deck's gonna get XOD. Welcome to the magic, it's a tale that's tragic, filled with. <laughs> oh shit, I actually forgot about this, man. Shout out to my. 
Dude, one of my all-time favorite anime rap artists, man. Fucking Eddie Rath. I actually forgot that he was on this track. Oh, shit. I actually forgot about that. Holy shit. Do I head so clear? You think your deck's gonna get X, don't do ya? Welcome to the magic. It's a tale that's tragic. Filled with a pain that's harder than plastic. Especially when you discover you don't have it. When I started, I was less than amazing. But now that I've been chosen by the grimoire, I'm rising to the occasion and a blazing flame of magic. Ain't no hocus pocus and that cadabra. Not a wizard you joke with. It's not Gandalf the Grey, but you shall not pass hopeless. Better be ferocious with the poorest orphan living in darkness. But now that I'm focused, I'll be thanking all my hardships. Oh. Hitting back with that bond guy. Got that power like it came out of the Don guy. Pops passed the torch, now I'm the fam's Don guy. Think you Eisen, but you looking like that Don guy. Y'all like soy fun, your rats barely sting. My boss are getting potential. Got that masterful swing, they say. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. But you'll know it's really over when that black lady sings. Max speed, blow up the moon, and now we're making these children write essays. Coming with tentacles, teach you a lesson, and why you don't mess with the sensei. I amaze. Used to be the reaper, now I run this class. I can turn a loser to assassin, do it real fast. I think I've been out of my head. Gift was given, made some poor decisions that I wish I didn't. But I do it again, feeling different. I was on a mission to achieve my vision with a page and a pen. Sit and listen to the words of written. I ain't even finished till I see that they're dead. Don't even try to pretend there's no malicious intent. Stay in my thoughts, keep to the morals of God. And kill every one of us notch, never get caught. Tell every criminal's wrath to consider me as a god. At whatever cost, it's how I excel. Cannot be stopped, even if I fell. I'm taking them off, you gotta tell. I gave up a lot to give you this L. Yeah, here comes Hanada. When I'm on the code, the enemy has got the guard up. Never gonna fall off, bet I'm gonna pop up. Way sure, put a pack of pictures like a sauna. Hot like a sauna, the ball of fire to no nada. But I'm gonna chase desire to go farther. Every jump would take me higher, they put walls up, so I had to learn to fly. Putting up points, breaking into climbing the way. Best decoy, got a little something to say to when you fall the death that I'm here to stay. On the gal, one goal is to play the game. Underestimated, I'm the ace. You just wait when I spike it past the net. You might take it to the face. Uh. Coming in with a hundred percent of me. I got you all trembling. Oh, just for the flick of a finger. Put you back where you're supposed to be. Send you out the boat on, then you done. Hit you with a stick gun, then need a grip when I'm full of the hip and grip. Because I'm locked, loaded, the clip is ready to go. Got a shotgun in my hand that's about to blow. Cause, Cause I'm, I'm hitting you quick, fast, giving you whiplash, wearing these spirit cuffs. You can be you with our demon, cause honestly, I just don't give a fool. If you're looking for the best, just know there's no other. Cause I'm flexing out here like I'm the youngest Agora brother. They call me Gintoki, Slim Not Stocky, Libby Shown and Jump on your leg in the body. I'll drop Gin, don't mess with my posse. If you touch my hair, then you will be sorry. Nah, bogey, nani kore, and it's saying cause you're way too sloppy. Got a silver soul, Shiro Yasha, swing my sword and a manto scatter. Gintama, not Kintama, to Shinpachi, we need money. If Kag good or Cat so to bring more trouble, we keep running. Pay rent, that's a waste of time. That weather girl, I will make her mind. You can beat me up and that's fair and fine, but if you hurt my friends, I'm prepared to die. Look, slaying demons, that's what we do If you hey. feel with evil, then my plate is highly lethal Hold up, hold up You know we gotta do it for this one, man All Just because it's got that verse, bro You know we gotta do it for this one, man Gotta bust out Tondro's blade for this one, man Got to, bro uh, Slaying demons, that's what we do if you feel with evil, then my plate is highly lethal. If you coming at my people, pray to God I never meet you. Ever mess with Nez, you can't go when I see you. I've grown stronger from that faithful day they found me. I train hard to hold my skills, the progression's so astounding. My style like breathe the water, that mean you can never drown me. Whirlpool, that mean I'm slicing everything around me. EMMA 63194, listen what I gotta say. The others walk scenes, now we gotta run away. Don't you talk adults out of the anime. You could break every bone in my body, I won't go to if the plan fails, the idea is simply out Society's these demons scheming, but they ain't the only monsters I combine IQ, break the safe, strength in numbers Now we woke it from the slumber, never ending perfect summers Across the farm, you can't help but wonder See, I'm the anime Raekwon, the chef, baby, stay calm You can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen, get a day job Word, and the finale superb I take a sec, put on my band, and I'll be happy to serve uh, So ma, tell me what you like, and I can hook it up Your boy got them recipes, the best couldn't cook it up And she gon' bust from the taste of my meat Chef, boy, are these boys always cooking up heat? It's my go, they call me Chitaro don't get me mad, I'ma go fast all the way jazz, you go through silos. Got that drip from Cairo, 
Girls will send my silhouette. I don't think it's a type of fight. My platinum psycho, none of y'all is a threat. What you got to say in your breath? Better speak with a bigger chest. Now you like that with my pet while he keep his on your neck. All types of disrespect. What you was fake going against a vet. Better get your check when it gets swept through the complex. Now who is next? Bubba Bubba making the first stare. Got me the master of nose hair. Look at the hair on the heads of these anime characters, brother. It's no fair. But I'm better than these guys. Don't you understand? I came second place at screaming face to face with desk fans. I throw his full surprises. Look at my powers immense. Leaving you screaming. Bubba Bubba, that makes no sense. Hunting hair, hunter Saitama. I'm coming for you. Don Bacha better. Super Saiyan God and go. Oh, they went and called Kakarot. Had to be danger. Leave them flat footed like they in the gravity chamber. I'm just looking forward challenge can you battle me stranger shonen legend in the saddle when the power is major level up on the track flow ultra instinct bye 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 fusion dance is always in sync wink and they wonder why i'm last on the song cause when all of y'all were talking i just want the spirit bomb What would you say to Now there is something that I want to show you guys um, A few months back before the whole ban went on uh, like, you know, before I got banned for that whole fucking month or whatever, somebody asked me what, what it was that kept me going. Let me show you guys one of the people that actually kept me fucking going. Today's interview is with founder and CEO of Ronin Tactics, Tulam. I served in a, like a standard question, I think. Only Skin. Let me tell you, dude, this dude right here that you guys are about to watch a little bit of the interview of, this dude had such an impact on me as a person that, like, this dude right here and hearing what he said. That's one of the reasons why I kept going and why I kept on hanging on. Just, you know, one more day, just keeping it going and keeping it going. And you guys will hear why here in just a minute. And that's why if you guys saw that post on my one Facebook, this dude literally has become like a mentor for me. This dude became one of my mentors in life. And that's kind of one of the biggest, this dude right here is one of the biggest reasons why when I wanted to give up a few months ago and throw it all away, this man is one of the biggest reasons why I didn't. These were torture camps. Yeah. A war between common. Today's interview is with founder and CEO of Ronin Tactics, Tulam. I served in a special missions unit where I did special reconnaissance. You know, I started off in Asia and then I fought the wars in the Middle East. My whole life was war. My whole life was combat. I was born in these conditions. And we are joined today in his war room where all his military accolades are and the inspiration of how he became who he is today. And we go through all of that, the beautiful story of how his mother took him and his family across oceans, to eventually reach the United States of America to protect them for safety. My mother shield on my body from incoming artillery fire in my morning of my birth. At this stage of the war, American troops have left it known. My mother, her strength, one more day, when people were dying, she held on to one more day. Today's video is always sponsored by mullingbrothers.com where you can get the t-shirts, the journals are coming soon, stoic at check People who don't know, just introduce yourself of what you do. Uh, my name is T. Lamb. I am the CEO and founder of Ronin Tactics where my wife and I, we travel around the United States. We teach uh, law-abiding citizens. We teach military and law enforcement. We've been doing this for seven years. We also 
off of my time in the military design and, and we manufacture equipment for law enforcement, military, and, and, and law abiding citizens. So um, founder Ronin Tactics. So Ronin Tactics is broken down into merchandise and is broken down in training. And we also do um, the entertainment where we film a motion uh, capture for Call of Duty character Ronin and also wear a face uh, and for Springfield where we field test their new products. Um, so I think what, what we'll do is, is dive into where you grew up, but I think instead of me asking you like a standard question, I think uh, as much detail as you want to go into um, from the, mo the moment you were born, from what you've been told through family, um, and to see where it takes us, and then I'll, I'll track back if we need to. There's nothing more important in life as a warrior to be stronger than the conditions and circumstances that are presented to us. You know, Nietzsche, the philosopher, once said that chaos is needed in oneself to give way to a dancing star. Without chaos, there will be no armies to fight, no mountains to climb or dragons to slay. Without chaos, there will be no realization to one's actual truth. You see, I was, I was born in chaos. I was born on a cold cement floor in the basement Saigon Hospital. My mother showed on my body from incoming artillery fire in the morning of my birth. At this stage of the war, American troops had left Vietnam. And I was born on the losing side of the war. A war between communism and democracy. Democracy lost. The communists, they imposed their ideologies on us. At three months old, I lost my freedoms. I lost my country. We lived underneath communist occupation. My uncles that served alongside Americans were immediately brought out to re-education camps. These were torture camps. Any person that fell ill, hurt, injured from these hard labor camps were brought out into the jungles and quietly murdered. You know, my, my uncles, that serve alongside them were imprisoned. And by the time we received them in the States, had no skin on the bottom of their foot, defeated, broken. See, the communists seek to impose their ideals on us and they broke us as human beings. We escaped genocide when I was three years old on an overstuffed wooden fishing boat with hundreds of thousands of other fleeing refugees. At that time, refugees were escaping when Americans left through government planes, any planes that they can get their hands on, helicopters. Some walked out to neighboring countries. And we were the boat people. There was an estimated 400,000 refugees died at sea. But yet on this night, my mother loaded us in the basement of this wooden boat. What was supposed to be a two-day trip from Vietnam to Malaysia, a route that's often taken? You know, they, um, in order to fit more refugees on, they took water and food supplies off the boats to put more bodies so more refugees can escape. And here we are. Aren't we nervous about presenting in front of the entire team today? It was such a lucrative business to stop the fleeing refugees, to board the boats and to kill the men, to rape the women and enslave the children. It was such a lucrative business that it brought in neighboring countries, pirates. It was estimated that many refugees died at sea because of these bandits. Somehow, <clears throat> under the cover of darkness, we escaped the pirates and we made our way into Malaysia, where the Malaysian Coast Guard stopped us at gunpoint, shot at us, boarded our boats, roped the line, and pulled us back out into the South China Sea, further and further into the sea, into hopelessness. When there was no more hope, then they cut the rope. Then they shot her engine. 
and they left us there to die. What turned out to be a two-day trip, we drifted. My mother said that we roughly were out of sea for 30 days. The lack of food and water, people died, suffered. It was common practice amongst fleeing refugees to carry poison in their belongings. The poison was to minister to their child so they would not morning, endure a life of slavery. All right, afternoon, man. How you doing? Torture. You know, I, I think back to my mother as we were dying on this boat, drifting, dying. Bodies were being thrown overboard. Three years old, can you believe it? As we were drifting, I think back one more day. You know, what, what my mother had to endure, one more day as we were dying in front of her, the ulcers growing on our legs. My mother, her strength, one more day. When people were dying, she held on to one more day. Well, she didn't poison us, and uh, we got caught up in a storm, huge tropical storm. She said this storm was so fierce that we should have been capsided on this small little wooden fishing boat. Further and further we drift, she said the waves were so massive. And she was prepared for death that night. But somehow the storm washes further and further out to the South China Sea. And the next day, when the storm broke, we were drifting. And somehow this storm led us into a path, the lat long coordinates of a Russian supply boat, South China Sea. Can you imagine how big that ocean is? Somehow this storm led us into this path of this Russian supply boat. Now, you know, the Russians, their ideology, the communism is what took us out of our country. We lost our freedoms, our country, from, we're escaping genocide. But yet this Russian boat didn't look at us as the enemy. They chose humanity and they saved us. We were barely alive. One by one, they took us onto their boats, gave us the medical treatment. And after uh, a day, they put us back on our, our uh, or wooden fishing boat. The smell, the foul smell of urine, feces, hopelessness. We went back into those basements. Our captain, my mother said this, said thank you to the captain of the Russian supply boat. And he said that, don't thank me. Because if I would have spotted you going into Vietnam, I would have drugged you back into Vietnam. But since you're here, I'm bounded to save you. I think that that lesson, you know, when I hear that lesson, because I was too young to really remember it, you know. But that lesson, as, as I reflect through the years, is this. No matter what culture, what country, there's always a good and there's always a bad, right? And that we shouldn't look at one another, culture, color, background, saying you're the enemy. We should look at each other's with humanity. And that's what they did. And I was taught that at a very young age, less than humanity. They roped us back in and they pulled us into Indonesia. You know, my mother said there's, you know, Indonesia's a multiple chain of islands, you know. They pulled us into Indonesia and they docked us and she said, you know, in the end processing um, process, she said that people died of dehydration on the beach. Can you imagine? Surviving that and dying on the beach when all they have to do is show compassion to us. You know, my mother said that the Indonesian guards showed no compassion as we sat there on the beach, 
100 plus degrees. Can you imagine? After 30 days at sea, depleted, dying. And yeah, here we are at safety, you bet. Yet a human being cannot even show humanity, not even, can't even save a person that, that almost died. And all they have to do is give them water. But yet we wait on this beach. And then finally, we, we end process the refugee camps. Let me explain to you the refugee camps. Hundreds and thousands of people are in these refugee camps. Stripped from dignity, country, stripped from everything. With the good, there's the bad. Amongst us, there's people that seek to take, murder, kill in the refugee camps. A safe haven for refugees. They're drug out into the jungles, raped, killed by bandits in the jungles, dead bodies. You know, my brother, because these refugee camps, people, let me, let me explain, these refugee camps are grass huts in the middle of a jungle. You survive on your own. You know, so we had to get, you know, firewood. And my brother, you know, was a little older than I was at the refugee camps. And he, he reminded me growing up, he reminded me how many dead bodies there were around these refugee camps. Young boy, picking up firewood, seeing dead bodies. We endured these refugee camps. We had to do what we had to do to survive in these refugee camps. During the war, my, uh, during the escape, my grandfather asked my mother, if you were to survive this escape, there's a slim to no chance, but if you were to survive this escape, I want you to promise me that you would do everything you can to become an American. You see, during the Vietnam War, an American Special Forces Green Beret officer who was fighting the war and his G base, a camp, special forces camp, with commandos got overran by the North Vietnamese. Overran. Everybody died. They ran behind my uncle as he was fighting and they stabbed him with an SKS bayonet into his lungs. You know, he was medevaced out and he made it to Saigon Hospital where my grandfather would come to visit because my aunt met this American Special Forces officer. She nursed him to life. And then the thing was, my grandfather said, there's no way that he will make it. He would die. Yep, this Green Beret made it. And he married my aunt. We took her back to the States. So my grandfather asked my mother, if we can, we must unite with your sister in America the land of the free, and this special forces, man, a hero. You need to reunite with him. He's a good person. And America is the land of the free. Promise me this. And my mother said, I promise. So she held on for a year and a half. A year and a half, can you believe it? We live in these refugee camps for a year and a half because of a promise. You know, she said that other countries accept this. Australia, New Zealand, Canada, she, she's named off a few, but yet she held on to a promise. When people were dying, suffering, she held on to this promise, you know? So after a year and a half, my uncle finally sponsored All right, y'all, with that being said, guys, I am going to bounce around because I do have to take this call that I just came in over on Facebook. 
Um, I will continue this video right here later on at a later date. Um, after I'm done with the call, I am going to be doing a gaming stream for you guys on console. So be ready for that. It's going to be super sick. But uh, with that being said, man, I love you guys. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day, afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you guys are at, man. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in a little bit, man. As always, stay humble, stay positive. And, you know, just keep being yourself and fuck the haters, man. I love you guys, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.